Thank you for this opportunity to talk to you today. My first experience with Haiti was not as a missionary, but as a UN staff. I came to Haiti to help Haitian women deal with many of the issues they faced after the earthquake. I was raised as to be a good Catholic, but I didn't know Jesus much. I met missionaries and began going around in Haiti and helping them as they helped um, Haitians who lived in the worst conditions and in the most dangerous neighbors. By working with them, I really began to experience um, Jesus' love for me and understand his word, what you do to the least of this and you do to me. When um, it was time to leave Haiti for the UN office in New York, the missionaries wanted to baptize me before I left. And I thought, why? I'm a Catholic. But they really insisted me that if I confess Jesus as my savior, and I would experience a joy of salvation. So I got baptized. I went to New York and while there experienced such joy and I was growing in my walk with Jesus and I heard God tell me to go back to Haiti to serve um, or orphans and widows. I was reluctant and a little bit unsure but God knew me and my soul that he, he made me changes in my work life and in my personal life that took me back to Haiti. <laughs> but not as a UN staff, but as a new missionary. And with a no former missionary training, but a calling. I came back to Haiti with my own savings, but I didn't know where to ask um, to, to support me. Um, over my eight years as a missionary, um, I've learned some very hard lessons, most of all trying to do God's will, not my will, and being obedient. They have changed me. You see, I thought that I could do all this by my will and my power, because before being a UN staff, I had fast paced in politics and ran successful businesses. So I thought that I could do all this. However, life was becoming so difficult in Haiti and then my work was not going the way I wanted it to be. And I was, I was hit by all the illnesses such as um, chikungunya and dengue fever and typhoid, there's many of those. And then my faith was challenged. So I wanted to leave Haiti. But yet, the miracles kept happening and then my mission was supported. That was not done by my will and God's will. So, uh, I learned that I had to truly say yes to God and to say, I will do whatever you want me to do. And his will will be done in me, but my, not my will. God showed me his will by sending me people, supported me to start my mission. My first mission was heart surgery project. God sent me a Korean doctor to suggest me to have a heart surgery project. We have given 72 surgeries since we started in. We started to train Haitian doctors to identify patients and carry on the work after the heart surgery was done. We have trained over 400 Haitian doctors, medical students. We are praying for a cardiac center to be established in Haiti and give proper medical education there as well. One day, we will see a teaching hospital in Haiti. He then encouraged me to begin working with orphans by sending me a 14 years old boy who was an orphan. At the time, he was smoking marijuana 
and then drank alcohol. He had no school background and no hope. I began to realize that there are so many boys on the street and they need help. So I started taking care of these street boys. We are housing them and then teaching them. We provide proper health care and then show them the way to be born again as a son of Jesus. We find them work and strive to prepare them to be future leaders for Haiti. I have now started my woman's mission. We have done many, but we are struggling. But God sent me the 13 years old girl who got pregnant, but nowhere to sleep and no means to take care of her life as well as the baby's life. Through the, this girl, I learned so much about being a girl in Haiti. So we are opening a teen pregnancy center from sex education, pregnancy test, as well as 48 courses will be offered. And we will teach against abortion as well. We also desire to give a Christian-based sex education to the local Haitian schools. My hope is that it will eventually grow into a women's center where women and girls will learn job skills and then receive psychological help so that the women will be capable to take care of themselves as well as their children. God has blessed me so much that allow me to come to this bar. Um, however, in order to achieve all our dreams, we need our own land to build our boys' home and women's center and a church. Um, currently, we are renting three facilities and the contract to rent my boys' home will expire April 2021. We need stability. Would you join me in prayer over land needs? We have found a land. Let me show you. A little less than two acres. The cost is $700,000. This $700,000 sounds overwhelming to me, but I know my God is capable of providing through both small and large amounts. As you pray, would you ask God to show you how you might be able to donate this project? Maybe you can donate to purchase a square foot. Each square foot costs only $8. Maybe God says you can donate a little more. You could support one bedroom with a donation of just $96. The complete classrooms will take around $4,600. Would you partner with me in ministry through your prayers and donations to purchase this land with a square foot donation or more? Through your donation, a precious donation, you can change the lives of many vulnerable boys and girls in Haiti. You can change uh, their lives. That they, they can become a good member of a society, and then a citizen of God's kingdom. When I look at my life before the ministry started to now, I can see how God has blessed me over and over so that I may be used by Him to bless others. You can help me spread the message of the kingdom of God and His blessings. Thank you so much, and God may bless you.